So good evening, good evening, good evening. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday evening. And uh, I know I am. Uh, big up to everybody here. Make sure you are smashing the like button through the roof. Make sure you are subscribed. Uh, do all the formalities. Make sure you sub to the second channel. Go and check out the video I did on Lee Reacts. I reacted to Messi's 400 million euro a year move, potentially to Saudi Arabia. Uh, tomorrow, I may, depends what other news breaks, but I may be reacting to Donald Trump being arrested and uh, sat in a courtroom. Uh, so make sure you uh, go and check all of that out. Um, but anyway, uh, we are here to talk about Dominic Calvert-Lewin, uh, a player that is linked to Arsenal, it seems like, every single year, multiple times a year, and uh, it never happens. Um, but we shall see. Uh, we shall see. This is a player that I don't like very much, if I'm honest. Uh, if we have a look at his um, injury record, which I'm about to, I don't know where it disappeared to, uh, injury history. There we go. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, injury history. Uh, this is on transfer market. Uh, he has been injured so many times, it is insane. Uh, ankle injury, 54 days. A back injury, 68 days. A bruise, kept him out for 26 days. A muscle injury, 24 days, hamstring, eight days, fractured toe, 125 days, then a knee injury, kept him out for 46 days, then a hamstring injury, kept him out for 32 days. This guy can't stay fit. Listen, when he plays, he is a bit of a handful and he's a player that maybe would be a good plan B option. Uh, but for me, I'm not really feeling it. I can't lie. I've never really thought, yeah, do you know what? You're going to be a top player. Yeah, he goes through little bunches of scoring goals and everyone gets hyped. And because he gets in the England squad every now and again, everyone uh, everyone gets gassed. Yeah, he scored one league goal all season, which is embarrassing, really, isn't it? Let's be real. I know he's only played 11 games, but I mean, come on. One goal. One goal. He missed the first part of the season with a knee injury. He then played one, two, three, four, five, six games, scored. He then wasn't in the squad for two games. Don't know why. Came back and played another one, two, three, four, five games, didn't score. Then he was out with a hamstring injury, uh, which kept him out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. <laughs> and he's not back yet. It's kind of mad. I can't lie. Uh, he obviously missed the EFL Cup as well with a knee injury. Uh, played in the game in the FA Cup, came on for 21 minutes against Manchester United in the 3-1 loss back in uh, back in January. But this player just can't stay fit. Played 203 games for Everton, uh, 59 goals, 18 assists. But nah, not for me, not for me. And listen, this this deal always pops up either before the window, during the window, or after the window of every transfer window. Arsenal will be linked to Calvert-Lewin. This is almost like the Julian Draxler of the Premier League linkage. <laughs> Every time we are linked to this guy, uh, he's obviously got his agent to pull it out there. Now, Everton has sat down in uh, 16th at the minute. Um, they've only lost one of their last five, but three draws in that as well. And listen, if they do get relegated, and they're only four points off the very bottom of the league, they're two points off of Leicester, who are 19th. There's a whole bunch of teams on 27 points. Um, and Everton have played 29 games. Uh, West Ham, who are above them, have played two less. They're on the same points. But kind of results went kind of their way yesterday. <clears throat> with Bournemouth losing, uh, with, um, with Forrest losing as well to Leeds. So results kind of went their way yesterday. But listen, if they get... Um, Sorry, didn't go their way yesterday. If um, if Everton get relegated, there will be a few players leaving. He'll be one of them. Yeah, he will end up at a Premier League club because some club would take a punt on him. Probably Tottenham or someone like that or West Ham. Yeah, because no disrespect, he ain't Arsenal level. He's not a starting level player for Arsenal because number one, he can't ever stay fit for long enough. And number two, his output ain't that great. Yeah, I did a video about Ollie Watkins earlier. Go and check that video out on the channel. Go and check that out. It's night and day. Yeah, that guy can stay fit and that guy does score goals. This one, not for me. No, not for me at all. Yeah, if you go through his actual record at um, at Everton, everyone got hyped in 2021 and 1920 because he scored 13 and 16 goals in them seasons. Since then, 
He's not even played 30 games since the under 2021 season. He's played 17 games last season, scored five goals. He's played 11 games this season and scored one. Yeah, not for me. Yeah, that's the classic case right there. Yeah, of everyone hyping a player. Yeah, gassing them up. That, oh, yeah, go and sign Calvert Lewin. He scored 16 goals. Rah, 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 one in two record. And uh, now he's fallen off the cliff. Yeah, and for me, it's not. It's not a deal that I want to see happening. Listen, there's plenty of other players out there that will cost in and around the same sort of money as him. Now, I've seen fees banded around for this player for about 50 million quid. If that's the case, go and buy Ivan Tony. Go and buy Ollie Watkins. You get him even cheaper. So not for me. No, 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 no. Listen, he may be a good aerial threat. But other than that, what else does he bring to the table? Yeah, because his technical ability is not there. He doesn't run the channels. He don't press that well. What does he actually give to the team other than being an aerial threat where you can whip a ball in and he'll nod it in and he'll bulldoze the defenders to pieces and, and score a bullet header, which is all great. And I do love a bullet header. But at the same time, this is Arsenal Football Club going into the big boy Champions League. Yeah, I want to see a player that's got a lot more tech about him and a lot more ability and a lot more different types of attributes about him. Like, like I said, this guy for me is very one dimensional. And whilst that's great as a bench option, it's not if he's never fit. So, nah, 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 nah. I'm not taking Oli, um, sorry, I'm not taking Calvert Lewin at Arsenal in a, a million years. And I'm pretty sure most Arsenal fans that are watching this will be sitting there saying the same. And even fans of other clubs that will be watching this will be saying, I don't want him anywhere near my club. Like, there's other players out there that are being the 40 to 50 million bracket that you could go and get that would elevate your club and, and make your team play better. And not only that, would stay fit. When you look at other players, Ivan Tony is very rarely injured, if at all. Yeah, you know, Oli Watkins, very rarely injured, if at all. These are players that I would take at Arsenal that would cost around the same sort of fees that are miles better footballers and have different attributes that will elevate your club higher up the table or get you a win. He might come off the bench and score a bullet header and get you a win. Great. But then you start him in the next game and he doesn't do nothing. Whereas we've got other players out there that could do other things and keep scoring goals, game in, game out, game in, game out, and staying fit. But listen, it's just my thoughts and opinions on him. Um, like I said, I did do a video about Ollie Watkins, a player I would take. So if you want to check that out, that's the last video on the channel. Um, but yeah, night and day between them two. My ideal choice is obviously Ivan Tony. I have been beating the drum for Ivan Tony since the championship days. All the real ones that have been here since day dot will know that I wanted Trossard. And I wanted Ivan Tony, and I've been screaming the longest about them too. So, so yeah, I'm happy with Trossard being here because he's absolutely flying at the minute and uh, he's elevated us. And this is why I do want Prem proven players, just not Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin is what he is. He's a mid to bottom of half of the table player. That's it. And he'll go and he'll score a bullet header. Everyone will get hyped. He'll score a couple of goals here and there. Everyone will get hyped. Nah, sorry, Evertonians. Uh, you can keep him. But anyway, uh, I will be back again tomorrow with Saeed. We're going to be doing a live stream on here at 1 p.m. UK time. Uh, so do make sure you come and check that out. That'd be fantastic if you would. Uh, make sure you are firing the like button up. Uh, this platform is playing games at the minute. Uh, that are not very good games. Uh, so if you could go and check out all the videos, leave likes, comments. It does boost the algorithm. It does help elevate the channel up there as well. Uh, it's not just me having this problem. Saeed's also having the same issue as well. So... So, yeah, if you could go and do all of that good stuff, that would be fantastic. And uh, make sure you do go and check out Lee Reacts. I'm enjoying doing that channel. Um, the views on that are not bad as well in comparison to the subs. Uh, nearly on 9.5k subs on there. So, thank you to everyone from here that's gone over and all these subs. I do appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, make sure you check out the video on that channel I did about Leo Messi. Potential 400 million euro deal for a year in Al Halal in Saudi Arabia. Wouldn't that be mad, eh? Messi and Ronaldo, both in Saudi. Um, anyway, do go and check that out. Go and check out all the other channels. Make sure you come and join me tomorrow. I'm also live tomorrow with Craig from Anfield Agenda. We're going to do a preview on his channel. Uh, so do make sure you go and check that out as well. Uh, but until then, uh, we're out of here, people. Have a blessed uh, Wednesday night, whatever it is you're doing. Adios amigos. Ciao.